Hi guys, so in the last video tutorial I showed you very quickly how to add a normal product to your um, shopping cart website. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a digital product which is a downloadable product, um, either free um, or a paid product. So first thing we do is go back into the admin area of your premium press um, website under the theme options. We're going to add a pro new product again. I'm just going to give it a title. Okay, we're going to give it a product price. Um, firstly, I'm going to show you a free one. So if we give it a product price of zero, just so um, you can see how it works. Quantity, uh, we've got this unlimited, but you can set an amount if you would like. Normal product, this is where you, you, you set the difference. We're going to select a downloadable product um, since the product is a digital one. Uh, we're not going to add any tax or shipping at the moment and the download path is a, is a server path to where you're going to be um, storing your files. So obviously if you don't want your files to be stored um, publicly you can put them before the public root of your server and that way then the files will be downloaded securely. So I'm just going to leave this blank for the moment um, and what that will do is it will throw up an error message when I try to download it. Um, but what it would normally look like is something like home and then username and then, and then public HTML that's the standard path for most hosting server and then you'll have um, some more folder prefixes to wherever your file is stored. So I'm just going to leave that as it is there. Um, I'm going to add my product to accessories. I'm going to description. I'm just going to quickly throw one in here, throw one in here again. Um, I'm going to add an image just so we can notice the difference. There we go. Give it an ebook. There we go. I'm just going to publish this now. Okay, so if we go out to our website, give it a refresh. As you can see now, I've got the uh, the T-shirt one that I did in the previous video tutorial, and I've got this sample digital download. So if I go to the uh, to the admin area, I've got obviously the title, the short short description, and the download now button. Now, as you can see, it's the download now button because the price of the product is set to zero. So obviously, the user can download it freely. So if I just click on download now, it's going to throw me an error. There you go, download error because the path I've set in the admin is incorrect. So it's a good idea to, to verify and, and constantly check that the path here is the path to your download file. Uh, and obviously once you've got the, um, the path correct, the, download, the file will be able to download. Okay, so if we change the product to a digital product, uh, sorry, a paid product. So if we change the price to a positive one, so we're going to give it $100, uh, another very expensive download. Alright, refresh that. Let's have a look at the refresh the page. As you can see now, the product has changed to a add to cart option, so you can add multiple downloads to your account. So I would go to the, through the normal processes of adding a product to my cart. There we go. I've got um, two of these digital products and a men's t-shirt. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the men's t-shirt. Okay, um, and I'm going to reduce my quantity of one. There we go. So I've got a digital product in my cart now for hundred dollars. I can go through the uh, the process of checking out as a normal user would. So I fill in my details. Okay, just going to skip all this very quickly. Okay, click on continue. Okay, obviously now then I would pay um, via PayPal. Now if you're obviously the admin of the website, we've added a, an admin test callback button so that you can skip the payment options um, to test that the cart is working. So I click admin test callback. There we go. Thank you for my order. If I go to my account area now and scroll down, you'll notice that I can now download the file via my account area at any time. So the user can log into their account and download. And this is specifically because a lot of the email accounts these days um, block a lot of new website emails uh, due to spam, etc. So what we've done is we've added the option for the user to log into their account and re-download the file at any time. So that's a very basic um, uh, introduction to the digital, digital download options in the shopping cart theme. But as you can see, it's very quick and very easy to add your own digital products to your shopping cart website.